told for myself after late last night's session it was such a perfect perfect condition but uh, I knew my left was bad I knew my left is bad but I didn't think it was this bad it was absolutely horrendous I surfed like a monkey <sighs> fucking horrible got in I got I think two rights barely got them and then uh, they're all closing out on the right and couldn't get out so uh, was pounded there for 10 minutes on the inside so try getting lifts but it just it just didn't work out for me my pop-up was when I pop up I'm not doing it like trained or planned or anything like that it's more of an instinct pop-up I just do it like in my head I don't think about it and uh, when I was doing a pop-up I was thinking about going left and as soon as I did the pop-up my body went like it was going right and it fucked up every pop-up I have I had a couple of nice tries and like I got a wave and it was just the pop-up and it was horrendous, horrendous. So, first light, absolutely first light today. First one in, a redemption station. So hopefully I get a couple of ways in here and see this footage because last night was absolutely the dream. The sunset, the wave, the purple people, feel, feeling, feeling to the left. It was absolutely sensational and I was horrible. Worst in years, worst in years I was, oof, I was so mad at myself. I nearly quit surfing yesterday, it's very good. Anyway, hopefully you see this session. Yeah, as you can see, I wasn't a happy camper next morning. Uh, so, when I was pedaling out, I've seen the sky. Uh, the wind was just stopping, it was onshore all day. And the swell was kind of big, but the problem was the wind. And I knew last light, the wind is going to slow down and it was actually changing direction. So it cleaned up really nice. So I got out and it was actually the framing. So I took a couple of rides, but the problem is when you take a rides over there, it uh, finishes on the inside of the channel when there are a couple of breaking points. So you have enormous session, enormous task of getting back outside, simply because there's so many waves breaking at that point. So I got stuck twice in the middle, it took me like 50 minutes of pedaling and in the end I had to go all the way to the left side to get out because it was impossible to avoid all these dark times but even then for the second time when I caught the right I got stuck in the middle of uh, big uh, closeouts on the outside like it was really really rough to pedal out drained all my energy and that was part of the reason I think I had a bad session but the other part of the reason uh, was uh, surfing to my left is was always a problem but uh, when I surfed to the left oh geez this sun I ca I'm still like when I see this footage from the night before when I didn't catch a single left and I love surfing in this sun because when you're surfing in Ireland during the day most of the time it's cloudy gray skies gray water and uh, when I see the footage from Hawaii or somewhere really really sunny the color of the skies the color of the sea but here in Ireland especially in September uh, October late August the last light session, the golden hour, is absolutely stunning. So, if you have a bad session, when I have a bad session in these conditions, I'm so pissed off. Yeah, I have the biggest problem was on the pop up. I did all the things that I should be doing, except when it came, to, came the time to actually pop up, my head instead of going left and following the wave, turned on right. As you can see here, I'm rewinding it, my head goes right. My body goes left, but my head goes right, and it absolutely destroys my wave, my pop up. I tried, I tried, I had so many takes, I had so many good positioning for perfect big waves, never worked out. I was there, so pissed off at myself, trying to get a single wave until last, last light, and uh, no, no, I couldn't. I, I nearly quit surfing after that session, I was so pissed off myself because. There was lots of times when I could have uh, went out to the left and I just decided no no I'd rather have a nice easy safe session on the right instead and not practice my left and this was the time when I paid for it. The next morning I went out and I said I, this is the vengeance for me I need to re redemption vengeance whatever you want to call it I need to get a couple of lefts and uh, redeem myself from last session started same as the last night I was so angry at myself and I was actually afraid I'm gonna waste another session on the left uh, but yeah after second try talking to myself yay finally got a wave it was nice little left uh, but you can see my board is hopping all over the place probably not 
getting my uh, pit positioning right and I'm trying to adjust it in middle of the wave yeah but that was the first wave caught I was happy I was excited and uh, I was just hoping it's not the last one but the conditions actually like the swell went down a little bit but it was perfectly clear there was nobody out caught a couple of nice lefts and uh, got my confidence this was like tricky and uh, I see these four kayakers coming out and I'm thinking ah oh, Jesus fucking Christ this is gonna ruin my session like I don't know these guys never been surfing with them before but they were actually lovely guys uh, lovely to have them in the lineup and uh, they knew what they were doing and uh, caught a couple of nice rides on that day that morning as well and when I'm taking on the right, it's such a different feeling, like everything comes natural. When doing the left, everything is the opposite way around. Everything's unnatural and hard and difficult and I feel unstable and like I'm losing my feet every second on the right. But still, got a couple of nice waves. It was, uh, it was a good redemption session. It was good for me to see you can serve the left and if you serve it more and more, you're just going to get better and better at it. So. The plan is for the next couple of sessions. Yeehaw, nice little turn. Keep it in the power section of the way because Yeah. I'm happy with this. I'm happy by how it ended. And uh, that first session I'm still pissed off at myself because you don't get those conditions with that light, with that uh, perfect sky that often here now. <laughs> Redemption, a little bit, a little bit, still not fucking happy, still pissed off. That was a nice one. <laughs> session so I was really really happy with that but the whole day was uh, the swell was dropping and the wind was onshore so me and the missus decided uh, we're gonna go for a scenic ride and uh, just explore a bit of the countryside we never went because we have like two and a half hour drive to home so we always uh, go to the main M3 and just uh, get back home as soon as possible but with the country road is three hours but it's so worth it so you go uh, go down to the Iski Bog and uh, check all these lovely, lovely uh, places, stop on the side of the road and just admire the scenery. So, hope you enjoyed the footage from today, the surf session and a couple of little drone shots I uh, gathered in the, the countryside of Sligo. So, enjoy and see you on the next one. <laughs>